Hey guys, in this video we have done the math and we found the best place to AFK fish for gems in Roblox Pet Catchers so you can unlock all the new talents in the talent tree. The talent tree is definitely worth grinding out. It has some OP talents on it. So stick around guys because I'm going to show you some tips on how to maximize your coins and gems in fishing so we can level up this talent tree quickly. Everything shown in this video is free to play, so you do not have to be paid to win to maximize your coins and your gems. So to figure out which fishing area is the best, we have to use the expected value method, which is the average that we can expect to occur if we repeat a random experiment a large number of times. Now this can change due to RNG, but statistically, we're going to go with the place that will give us the most gems in a 24 hour period. So I'll be using my multipliers in this video. Your multipliers will be different, which may cause more or less fish in a 24 hour period, as well as more or less gems in that 24 hour period. But the results will still be the same. There will still be a distinctive area to AFK fish that'll be better than the rest. So in this video, we'll be using a diamond rod, my fishing team, to get the multiplier up. We'll be going through each area and I'll be showing you guys the expected value of fish that you can catch that give you gems, as well as the expected value of gold you can earn from the common and rare fish that we can convert into gems. Let's get started guys. With the diamond rod, we can catch a fish every 2.6 seconds. So in a 24 hour period, there are 86,400 seconds. And if we can catch one fish every 2.6 seconds, so we would go 86,400 seconds divided by 2.6, which means we could catch 33,231 fish in a 24 hour period. That's important guys. So we're gonna start in the arcade. The arcade only has one fish that is worth gems. The rest of the fish give you tokens. So if you're trying to farm gems, this probably is not the place to start. So with our multipliers, we can see that we have a 1 in 1.4k chance to catch this fish. This fish's base value is 950 gems. That means in a 24 hour period, if we caught 33,231 fish, we would expect to catch about 24 of these guys. 24 times 950 equals 22,800 gems. So in the arcade, our expected value of gems we can earn while AFK fishing is 22,800 gems. Now, fishing in the arcade does have benefits. The common, the rare, and the epic fish all give tokens, which we can use to buy stuff. But unfortunately, we cannot convert tokens into gems, which makes the arcade not the most efficient AFK fishing area to grind gems. Our next area we head to is Magma Basin. In Magma Basin, we can see that the legendary fish has a 1 in 2700 chance of being caught and the epic has a 1 in 4% chance of being caught. The legendary fish in Magma Basin is 700 gems and the epic fish is worth 20 gems. So if we divide 33,231 fish by 2700, we are expected to catch 12 of these legendary fish in a 24 hour period. So that means our expected value from the legendary fish in this area is 8400 gems but with the epic fish having a four percent catch rate we would expect to catch 1329 of these guys 1329 of these guys at 20 gems a piece would equal 26585 gems our rare fish in magma basin is worth 100 gold at a 14 percent catch rate so we could catch about 4,652 of these guys times 100 and that means we can earn 465,234 gold in a 24 hour period. However, and this is tip number one guys, whenever you're turning in your fish, be sure to have the team that has the highest coin multiplier that you can get. For instance, my highest team multiplier that I can get is 14,160 plus the gold potion that adds 1.25 times the amount of gold you can earn. So if we put this multiplier onto the 465,234 gold that we can get, 
we can bump that number up to 8,234,641,800. And remember, in the new update, we can convert 1 billion coins into 100 gems. So we can get an additional 800 gems from the rare fish in Magma Basin. And the common fish are worth 90 gold at 82%. That means we could catch 27,249 of those, which would bring us an additional 2,452,448 gold. Again, if we added our gold potion bonus and our gold multiplier from our best coin team, that would bump us up to 43 billion gold, which would earn us another 4,300 gems if we converted that, which would bring our expected value to 40,085 gems, if we spent 24 hours AFK fishing in Magma Basin. So in the interest of time guys and my sanity, because this is too much math for my brain to handle, I won't be showing the math anymore, but we'll be going over the expected amounts that you could get from the other areas. So I hope you followed the math and from here on out, we'll just be going a little bit quicker, but stick around because I do have more tips to help you maximize your gems. Next up, Gloomy Grotto. Gloomy Grotto's legendary fish is worth 400 gems and a 1 in 913 chance of catching it. That means in a 24 hour period we can expect to catch 36 of these fish which would bring in 14,400 gems. Now the epic fish gives us 16 gems and they have a 5.9% catch rate which means in a 24 hour period we could expect to catch 1,961 of these times that by 16 and that equals 31,376 gems from the epic fish. You can sell the rare fish in Gloomy Grotto for 85 gold at a 14% chance. That means we can be expected to catch 4,652 of these fish. Times that by 85 gold and add in our multiplier. And rounding up that equals 7 billion gold, which means our expected value from the rare fish in Gloomy Grotto is another 700 gems. Now the common fish we can sell for 70 gold at an 80% catch rate. That means we could expect to catch 26,585 of these fish. And at 70 gold a pop times all our multipliers, which rounding up would equal 33 billion coins, which would bring us in another 3,300 gems converted. So our expected value for AFK fishing in Gloomy Grotto for 24 hours is 49,776 gems. Next up, Dusty Dunes. Dusty Dunes, we're really gonna speed it up now, guys. With my multipliers, the expected value of gems in Dusty Dunes are as followed. Legendary is expected to give us 14,640 gems. The Epic is expected to give us 27,916 gems. The Rare is expected to give us 600 gems. That's after conversion. And the Common is expected to give us 2,800 gems, which gives us an expected value of 45,956 gems from 24 hours of AFK fishing in Dusty Dunes. Next up, Sunset Shores. Nah, just kidding. Sunset Shores statistically is the worst place to fish. Don't fish there. Now bringing us to the best place to fish, Frosty Peaks. That's right, Frosty Peaks statistically is the best place to AFK fish for gems. And here's why. Using my multiplier, remember your multiplier will be different but the results will still be the same. Frosty Peaks will be the best place in the game to AFK fish. So using my fish multipliers, Frosty Peak has a 1.1% chance of catching a legendary. These legendaries are worth 80 gems. That means in a 24 hour period we are earning a whopping 29,280 gems from the legendary fish alone. And the epic fish have a 7.7% catch rate and we can sell those for 10 gold a pop. Knowing that our expected value from epic fish in frosty peaks is 25,590. The rare fish have a 14.7% catch rate and can be sold for 50 gold. Adding in our coin multipliers, that'll bring us up to 4 billion gold, so we can get another 400 gems from the epic fish here. And the common fish sell for 50 gold and have a 76.4 catch rate percent, which will give us another 2200 gems once we convert the gold, giving us an expected value of 57,390 gems in a 24 hour period. 
Now the tips to help you guys triple the amount of diamonds to get as well as getting the most gold you can. So remember before you hand in your fish, have the team that has the most coin multiplier that you can possibly get. So whichever monsters have the highest coin multiplier, equip them before you hand in your fish. Also, do not hand in your fish unless the fortune event is on because that will give you two times the amount of diamonds that you get back. And before you hand in your fish, pop a prismatic potion because that'll give you an additional two times diamonds and it will triple the amount of diamonds that you get from handing in your fish. All right, guys, that's it for me. If this video helped, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, Take care.